No one knows about being homeless and addicted better than Christine McDonald. And although she has endured more trauma than most could, Christine has chosen to use her journey as a way to help others who get stuck in the cycle of addiction, prostitution, and homelessness. Christine ran away from home when she was 15 years old. On the streets of Kansas City, she came to trust a man who provided her a place to stay, clothes, drugs, and a job in sex trafficking. I had run away multiple times because I didn't want to be home because of the dysfunction there. Um, and so, you know, what's the least of two evils, if you will? And um, then at night, there would be men that he had already made arrangements and that I was to perform sex acts with. And I was given a lot of drugs. And eventually the drugs, well, very quickly, I'm not going to say eventually, very quickly, the drugs became a way for me to, um, to deal with the shame. And before I knew it, I was a full-fledged drug addict. I was addicted to crack cocaine. Um, <clears throat> and I had a, I uh, progressed very quickly to um, about a thousand dollar a day crack cocaine habit. Eventually, her addiction landed her on the streets. And that's when a 17 year journey of homelessness began, which included 103 arrests, seven stints in prison, and nine felony drug convictions. But deep down, Christine knew there had to be more to life, so she left the streets and started a new journey. Not long into her recovery, she became pregnant, but complications with the pregnancy forced her to choose between her own eyesight and the life of her unborn child. Now, she faced the challenges of being blind with no education, no job experience, having a baby, and fighting a system that wouldn't help her. I had to fight, I had to fight to prove that I, I could, you know, learn and, and get an education and, and learn how to do something and be able to support. Oh my, I was an addict, that doesn't mean I don't wanna be a good mom and, and live in a nice neighborhood and send my kid to school and give them the best opportunities possible. But Christine never lost hope and she did finally get the help she needed. There are a number of qualities that Christine has that are um, just amazing. Um, she's highly intelligent, she's gifted in fact, and what's amazing is that growing up she never knew that. They did all these tests and they're not kind of smart and um, they uh, helped me get a GED. I learned how to use all this neat adaptive technology and um, I uh, went to college, <laughs> got a job helping people with criminal past put their lives together. And then I got a job working with people with disabilities and people that were coming from long-term homelessness and suffering from the disease of addiction. Christine wrote a book a few years ago to share her life's struggles and successes. She's dedicated to helping people begin and stay on their road to recovery. She will work with people on the ground floor um, who are out on the streets in the middle of their addiction. She works with people who are imprisoned because of their addictions. Um, and, and in the midst of that struggle, uh, in their recovery points, um, in, and then all the way up to the state level where she works with legislators on the barriers that uh, this population in particular face at, on their journey to recovery. What makes Christine a mental health champion is how she turned nearly two decades of addiction into a book that changes lives and changes perceptions. Um, she takes the struggles that she has been through and paves paths for others to continue on their healing journey. Because of Christine's compassion for others and her just her willingness to go to the edge, to be uncomfortable, to push the envelope for the benefit of others, um, and because she never judges the path. She understands the disease. She understands um, that it's not a matter of choice, that it is truly an illness. You know, people think you're homeless. You know, you can just stop being homeless. You, you know, go get a job. Well, if you got nowhere to take a shower every day and get ready for work, it's not that easy. Or if you've never had a job, or if you don't know how to be an employee. I mean, there's just so many different things um, that it can be very difficult. And um, I think people just needed to hear that it's just not that easy, um, that there are a lot of things. And so I shared some of those barriers that I faced 
um, in there so that people would um, maybe look at prostitution, addiction, homelessness, just a little bit differently. Oh, Christine is a champion through and through. I have often said that Christine is just a trophy of God's grace. He has given her so much in her life and she has just taken it um, and, and made good from the bad and looks for the best. And she continues to give her time, her efforts, her skills, her love, her intelligence for the benefit of others. She doesn't only look at how does it benefit her, but how does it benefit individuals in her life? How does it benefit the community that she lives in and how does it benefit our world? And that is what makes Christine McDonald a mental health champion.